in adult politics from now uh, until many years to come i don't think um, the name of adam Sushomale will be forgotten easily uh for different reason we know he was a former governor of, of the state so when former governors are going to be mentioned he's going to be mentioned as well he was also the national leader of the all progressive congress there are many things he will be remembered for that his name will be mentioned about but this one we're getting right now is very interesting from friends to foes three politicians from edo state adam sushomole has had issues with Yes, making this uh, uh, um, statement, I know some persons, they already know who is number one on the list. But anyway, let's not jump to it. We'll get into all the details shortly. So what that means is that uh, at some point in time, Adam Sushomale has been very good friends to these three persons. But as time went on, um, the music changed, the relationship got sour, and things fell apart. Not just falling apart that time. They are not just so close, but it got to the point that they started attacking each other fighting one another quite interesting it's politics anyway but um, guys we'll get you those details shortly who these three persons are but before we do guys please don't forget to like share and to subscribe also press that notification bell click the bell until it turns gray god bless you yes we'll get into the news now and grab all of the details comrade adam soshomala is a former labor leader and he contested the 2007 edo state governorship election and saw his mandate given to Osareme Osumbo, a member of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. A year after Adam Sushomale won the court case, both at the Appeal Court and Supreme Court, and he was sworn into office in 2008 as the governor of Edo State under the platform of the Action Congress of Nigeria, ACN. He spent eight years in office following his re-election in 2012. In this article, the writer will be revealing three politicians from Edo State who were friends to Comrade Adam Sushomole but later became foes. One, Governor Godwin Obaseki. Godwin Obaseki worked with Comrade Adam Sushomole during his administration and he played a pivotal role in ensuring that his administration will be worthy of emulation when he leaves office. Oshomole even testified that Obaseki played a major role in his administration. Even when he married a Cape Verde lady, Obaseki was his best man. The relationship between both was cordial and there is no doubt that Obaseki played the game of humility as he was loyal and submissive to his boss, Adam Sushomole, and this made him Oshomole to throw his weight around and supported him in the 2016 governorship election as he was the main man that ensured that Obaseki defeated his closest rival, Pastor Osaige. It then appeared that Oshomole was into dictatorship and tried to reinstate Godfatherism in the state after he spoke against it. It was learned that Oshomole sent names of people Obaseki should appoint as commissioners from Abuja while he was still the national chairman of the All Progressive Congress APC, and his refusal to do that created a feud between them. Even their peace reconciliation meeting ended in a deadlock and on December 25, 2019, on Christmas Day, Oshomole instructed his mother to reject the gift Obaseki sent to him. However, recently, both of them met in Auchi at an event where Governor Godin Obaseki stated his position that he has no beef with Adam Oshomole. However, it was his style of leadership, style of politics that he was not in support of two philip shaibu philip shaibu is the deputy governor of edo state and before now he was a member of the edo state house of assembly and also a member of the house of representatives during oshomale's administration he was a good friend to him and they were pictured together during the 2016 governorship election that brought him and obaseki into power one of the reasons why the fed between oshomale and Obaseki became stronger was when Oshomole told Obaseki to drop his deputy Philip Shaibu in the 2020 governorship election, but he refused. This angered Philip Shaibu, and in a Messia interview, he said that Oshomole cannot come into the state without the consent of the governor. Thirdly, late chief Tony Aneni. The former chairman of the board of trustees of the People's Democratic Party PDP, Chief Tony Aneni, was also one person Oshomale blasted in Edo State. Oshomale told him to retire from partisan politics or 
be forced out by the masses of Edo State. He also blasted him and called him a godfather after Aneni told him that he does not know politics and that labor is different from governance. This one is quite an interesting one. So Adam Sushomole um, from Friends to Foes. And there's a big question that was asked here that uh, could this be the style of Adam Sushomole? Is it true that Adam Sushomole is not a reliable friend? Because um, this was the first question um, um, that was put out here. It's interesting. I know many people will have a um, different opinion about this. Some persons have given Adam Sushomole different. And we know recently Adam Sushomole um, came on the news again when he was apologizing to Benway State Governor, the person of um, Samuel Autumn. You know, in 2018, Adam Sushomole made some derogatory remark, accused the governor of um, um, being involved in the death of two Catholic priests. And uh, the governor <laughs> didn't take it lightly at all. Sued uh, Oshomole, I beg your pardon. Sued Oshomole, took him to court, and uh, Oshomole started begging uh, to settle out of court. But he was instructed to do these things, um, tender an apology, so um, publish a letter of um, retraction, retract all of those comments and everything on three major newspapers. And we saw that Oshomole actually did that yesterday. He apologized that um, he lied against Samuel Otham. So many people have different. Um, opinion about Adam Sushomole, you know, and uh, most of the things that we see Adam Sushomole doing now, he's done them in the past, you know, to uh, the, the calling of names. We know he plays politics a lot. So, you know, regarding the case of um, Pastor Saige Izeyamu, Adam Sushomole spoke against Izeyamu in 2016 and 2020, come 2020, fast forward to 2020, he changed the whole uh, uh, um, ball game. So, it made people started doubting Adam Sushomole that um, this man, how can we really trust whatever he says and all of that? So the question here is that is Adam Sushomole not a reliable friend? Because a lot of speculations and insinuations have been going around that even um, his friendship with uh, Ize Iyamu very soon is going to turn sour. That is it, it's going to be dumb. They are going to fall out again. Because these three persons that were mentioned here, they were very close to Adam Sushomole. Governor God in Obaseki, even Philip Shaibu, we know how close Oshomole and Philip Shaibu were. They're even from the same local government area for that matter. So they are really, they are brothers. I know they are all from Edo State, but um, from the same local government area. But we saw that when the relationship got sour, um, or, uh, even uh, Shaibu stood by Governor God in Obaseki. Well, guys, let's hear your take. Um, the question is, is Adam Oshomole? not a reliable friend let's hear your take thank you once again for staying tuned please don't forget to like share and to subscribe till i come your way again bye